What's up gamers? Hey once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Game and Rebirth DL channel. So what do we have today? Today we have Repatch for the PlayStation Vita. This will enable us to play higher former games, for example 3.68, 3.65 on lower former consoles. So we will need also the non-PDRM and we will need a file called PPK. I'll go ahead and show you where to get those. And also, if you get a game that is non-PDRM, we will go ahead and do the tutorial on how to install it to the PlayStation Vita. So, we will go to the developer's GitHub, thanks to Dots, Celeste Blue, Slika Empina, Julio Surreras. You know, they have worked so hard and all the other developers that work on this. So, we will download the repatch SKPRX. Okay, that's pretty cool. So now just in case, if you haven't installed non-PDRM, then I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description. Now this added support to 3.65, 6.7, and 6.8. Now we will download the plugin. I found the game, which is Guru, Mark of the Wolves. Now you guys can see that I have the app folder and then the game in there. So I'm just going to extract it to my desktop. Just let it be for a moment. Okay, so now that we have extracted the game, you guys can see that it had a patch information, but that no longer works thanks to repatch. So now I'll go ahead and leave this link in the description as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and copy the game ID, and then I'm going to go ahead and search. You guys can see that the game ID is in there. Now I'm going to select it and then you're going to get a PPK information. So we select it and then we're going to download that information. You guys can see downloads fairly quick, which is pretty awesome, pretty reliable. Okay, so that's all what we need here. Now what we'll go ahead and do, we're going to extract the PPK file. So we're just going to make a new folder because we're going to enter the content in there and we're going to and we're going to call it repatched now I capitalize the P just make sure you do it how it's in the video so then we're going to extract the PPK with 7c zip and open archive and we get these three files so we're going to just select the three files and put them inside the repatch folder. Okay. Now that's all ready to go. Which is pretty cool. We have everything so that we can transfer to the PlayStation Vita. Now I am going to copy the game ID once more. Okay. And then we go to the repatch folder and we're going to create a new folder. Now this folder we're going to title it as the game ID as you guys can see and then we're going to drag those files inside that folder so one will go into the app folder and one will stay in the repatched so this will be your new folder for the PlayStation Vita so we connect it using Vita Show so we press select in the PlayStation Vita and it will connect us to the PC Okay, so now that we have all that information ready, just in case, remember to unhide your hidden items so that you can get the app folder once you connect the PlayStation Vita. Okay, so now we're going to copy that information and then we're going to paste just let it be for a moment okay so we have our game inside the app folder now we're going to get repatch and we're going to copy and then we're going to paste we just paste it on the root of the PlayStation Vita now we're going to enter our plugins you guys know that I keep my plugins folder separated so I'm going to copy them and paste them in my plugins folder you can also put them in 
you are all Thai, but I like to keep him all centralized, as you guys know. Okay, so now everything's pretty much ready to go, so we move on to the PlayStation Vita. Now within the PlayStation Vita, I'm just going to show you guys that I have all the files. I go to my UXO. And then you guys can see that under repatched, I have my game ID information with the patched information. Now under plugins, you guys can see that I have the repatch underscore for SKPRX plugin and non PDRM. Now under URO, we're going to go to the type folder. Okay, so now we select the config. This is where you can drop the plugin if you want as well, but I like to keep it in the plugins folder. So we select the config text and now we're going to add a line and remember to put the path correctly, which is UXO plugins repatch underscore for SKPRX and then UXO plugins non PDRM SKPRX. Make sure it's written exactly how you have it or where you're going to put the plugin. It is important. And then to get out, we're going to press X and then we press circle. Okay, that's all that we need to do. If you need to pause the video under that section with the config text, then please do so. Now you guys see that if I go to my live area, I don't have anything. So I go back to Vita Shell and I press triangle and I'm going to refresh the live area. And we select yes. Now it might take a moment, maybe a minute or less, and then it'll capture the new information. Now you guys can see the game is in there, which is pretty cool. So just in case, restart the PlayStation Vita. Okay, so now I'm going to go to settings, system information. You guys can see that this PlayStation Vita is on 3.60. This game works, I think, for 3.65 and above. So technically, it shouldn't work, but thanks to Repatched, let's go ahead and verify if it works. There you have it, guys. This is amazing. This is pretty cool. The game is working. Now, please stay tuned because right now after this game that we know that it's working we're going to go to no pay station browser okay so we move on to the PC I'll go ahead and leave that link in the description for the NPS browser now for this the only thing you have to do pretty much is just click on the exe file if an update comes up then just update all that information but you guys can see the games DLCs themes which is pretty cool now you can filter by region so in this case I'm going to use US okay so now I'm going to look for a game 3.65 so you guys can see you can, you can find all the games that this uh, browser has and then you can download them and do the same steps that we did previously in the video which is pretty cool just an extra treat for you guys thank you for being patient on all my videos now for now I'm going to get the Samurai Showdown which is a pretty cool game now it gives you all the information and then we select download and unpack and it'll give you the status that it's completed and it'll be inside the NPS browser downloads. You guys can see the game ID. And then we can go to the website that it was provided. And we can go back and search for the repatched information. There you have it guys. So we can download the information as well and just conclude or rewind the video so you can go ahead and do so so guys if this helped remember to hit like subscribe comment share with your friends 
as always game of rebirth out